Hello everybody and welcome back to another Let's Play. This one's definitely been on my list. We're gonna check out Tunic. And I've seen my husband play this one, but I don't know. We're gonna give it 15 minutes, um, is usually how I've done these. And uh, I'll give my first thoughts, my first impressions. So before we go ahead and start playing, here's apparently what Tunic is all about. The game came out in 2022. It was developed by Isometric Corp Games and published by Finchy. I think the guy who founded it, so Adam Saltzman, I believe he has worked on some other games. Um, Cannibal is like one of the more popular ones that a lot of people know from him. The goal of this game is to free a fox spirit that is trapped in a crystal. And you definitely can't understand a lot of what is going on because it's all written in like a sort of rune style language that doesn't make any sense um, to humans at least. All right, there we go. So again, I knew nothing. I know nothing about this game other than it's cute. It's got a little fox. I know I don't know anything about the fox. All right. Look how cute. Oh, I like the texture on this. It's adorable. And I like the music for sure. So I guess just in the beginning, you're kind of wandering, walking around. What do we have here? Nothing. Okay. Is this game just literally me wandering around? I hope not. I love the animation of Fox. <laughs> His head's just like bopping up and down. Okay, so we got a place here with, uh, looks pretty lit. Let's go inside. Oh, <gasps> a treasure chest! X to open. Very good, very good. Guys, I got a stick. Okay, <laughs> cool. Oh, it's gonna be one of these, isn't it? All right, can open this. I don't know what this says. I cannot read whatever runes these are. So those are all blocked off. Oh, <gasps> that's X. Very cool, which is good. I love, I, I love a good dash button, L2. Ow. Okay, that's all right. What am I supposed to fight them with? Oh. <laughs> what the heck? A stick? That's what the stick is for. Okay, I can't get in there yet. All right. My HP doesn't look very good. I can't get over there, so I'm probably gonna have to go up and around. So, so far we can make use of L1 to equip. Oh, will my stick work? This is, we're gonna be off to a very bad start here. <laughs> Almost dead, I need like mana or like HP or something. So hopefully, sooner rather than later, there's a way to get myself some uh, some HP. Okay, can't go that way, but I can cross this bridge. What's this? Uh, I think it asked me to pick stuff up. Okay, that's useful. So this kind of tells you where everything is, but I need to figure out how to get down there. This is such a weird game. It's also very odd that you can't, like, it's obviously not in English. This is gonna frustrate me. We'll just keep walking. 
Just keep walking. So this looks like... Oh! What just happened? But I wasn't finished! I wasn't finished exploring that last area. What the heck? Okay. Guys, am I dead? I love this music. This music's awesome. Meantime, my HP bar is still crap. Okay, so this is, I think. There's anything to activate here. No. This is so weird. Can I jump off this? No. They actually make you go downstairs. Weird. Okay. How the hell do I get back to where I was? Like, what? <laughs> where am I? I don't know how to get out. Like, there's nowhere to go. Okay, this is not good. We are gonna go back to the title screen. So yeah, I'm not really sure what happened there. That was really odd. I'm gonna have to read up on it later, but Note to self, don't go that way. <laughs> At least we have some sort of idea of what we're doing. Um, now I said in a previous video that I'm very much like an immediate, I need immediate gratification when I play a game and that's why I tend to be a bit more into games like Tetris or like Mortal Kombat. A lot of that stuff is, um, for me, is very, very immediate. So stuff like this, is already on its own something that I don't enjoy doing. But yeah, something like this where I can't understand what they're saying, it's already infuriating, but that's okay. I was playing Untitled Goose Game earlier and I want, I, <laughs> I'd rather play that now. <laughs> yeah, I'm so far just like, what the heck? Okay, so here's another one of those sperm whale things and my, I'm about to die. That's great. It's really awesome. And I just died. Cool. Okay. Oh. This is weird. I will say that the art is pretty cool. And I do love the animation. And the music is great. What just happened? I just earned a trophy called What Just Happened and that is, yeah, that's accurate. I stole my stick, so that's good. Okay. Apparently, I'm no longer poor again. So you would have seen earlier that this was the f this is where I ended up previously, but let's see if this works now. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Same thing that happened earlier. Okay, so you had to go at it from the other side. That's the issue. I had a feeling those had to be activated, but wasn't 100% sure. Anyways. Hmm. 
this up from earlier. I don't know what that just said. Let's go hit a few more guys and I'll stop here. So that's what you need to open that door. Okay, I guess we'll stop there. Couple of things. First of all, this game is weird, but it is what it is. I initially didn't like it. I found it kind of frustrating and I definitely am not a fan of seeing just runes everywhere because as I was attempting to explain earlier, I need immediate gratification and this game does not, not supply that. However, comma, being able to run around and experience the map and like how cute it is, is definitely a plus on, on that side. Um, so it does make for something that I actually kind of want to come back to. The game's music reminds me very much of Tetris Effect, which I will probably bring up and play at some point just because it is one of the games that I enjoy. I like how expressive the characters are, so at least what I've seen so far. The fox lady is in the glass. She's like, you can tell she's struggling and she needs help and clearly it's the main character's goal to, I'm assuming, help her. I think it ranks slower for sure than Stellar Blade, which I did a video on that previously. If I were to come back, I think it would be very casually, and I think I would like to learn a little bit more about the game. This I'm gonna give like a three and a half out of five. Definitely love the art, definitely love how it presents, definitely love the music, definitely love the main character. This is not a game I'm gonna be running to. I might just like casually open it up and try it again, but I'm definitely not about to set blocks of time aside to try and beat this. So we'll see what happens. But anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.